the Urban League of Greater Hartford is highlighting the achievements and contributions of African American, Afro Caribbean, and Afro Latino cultures in our area. It's our part of the annual Black History Month celebration. Here to tell us much more about it is Corinna Richardson. She is the Youth Development Manager from the organization. Corinna, thanks for being with us. Good morning, and we're glad to be back again today. And we're glad to be back in person, right? With this event, it is very exciting. First time since COVID that it's back in person, which is a big deal. It really is. We've been hosting this event annually since 2015, and the last two years have had to be virtual. We had to make some major adjustments, but we're so excited to be back in, in person and inviting the community to celebrate with us. And right off the top, we want to remind people when it's going to be. It's happening on Thursday. And the th important thing to remember here is you don't have to make a reservation. You don't have to buy a ticket. You just go. Absolutely. Right? So Thursday, February 9th, between 6 to 8.30 p.m. at the Mark Twain House and Museum. We know there's been some uh, excitement at the Mark Twain House, but it'll be yes. on the museum side. Mm -hmm. And they've been great partners with us as well. And the first hour is an interactive exhibit, and the community members can come in free of charge and learn about black excellence, history, and culture. And the second segment is our Legacy Honor Showcase, and we honor and celebrate some phenomenal people here in the city of Hartford. Well, let's talk about some of those that we are honoring and celebrating because we have their pictures. We want to make sure they get the recognition that they deserve. Absolutely. We have LB Gonzalez Schwab. She's been with the city of Hartford and been such a strong champion for health and human services. We have Melissa Wollaston. She's a health and wellness and fitness coach, and she's been such a great advocate for health, not only in the city, but with our Project Ready Scholars and with our students as mm. well. We have Andrea and Doug um, Hawkins, and they do the Birkins Cafe. They have three locations around the area. Dwight Biggs is a graduating senior at Classical Magnet High School. And then Travis Demir Terry, he is a designer whose roots are here in the city of Hartford, and he's been making moves across the globe with his designs and his fashion. Well, that is just great to see those people get the recognition that they deserve. Absolutely. Now let's talk about the theme this year. It is a legacy revealed, a glimpse of hope. Talk a little bit more about that. Well, every year we start the theme with a legacy revealed. Whose legacies are we honoring? Are we standing on and acknowledging the foundations for? But the legacies are still being made, right? Even this weekend at Super Bowl, there'll be the first mm. black female coach uh, coaching at a, or on a coaching staff during the Super Bowl weekend. So this year is a legacy revealed, a glimpse of hope. After coming out of hope, COVID, so many people are so heavy. There has been so much sadness, so much despair, but we are hopeful. We can rise it, but we can come back together in person and we can look above and beyond and see the light and continue to move and step and walk in that light together and have hope as we continue. And this event on Thursday is a great way for people who have been maybe wanting to get involved with the Urban League to really jump right in, right? Yes, yes. So we help people get jobs. We help them find their first homes. We help them get to college and help them get educated and even help them get healthy. But as a black organization, we want to make sure that they know that we empower communities and, sh and change lives. And we share this platform with others in the community to be able to showcase their services. How do they acknowledge and celebrate black excellence? Mm -hmm. And we all can learn and grow and be inspired together. Yeah, the resources are really widespread, right? Talk yes. a little bit more about how you first got involved. So uh, I, <laughs> I hate to put the spotlight no, on you okay, because you okay. want to spotlight all the other people, but you, you know, you tell us a little bit more about how you got involved. I will say my grandmother actually was living in New York and I was living in Kansas City and I was in between jobs and I actually started to Urban League through her encouragement and to start to get um, connected to job services there. Mm -hmm. And they were very helpful, not um, enabling me to get a job, but to help empower me with the tools that I need, needed to be successful. So when I relocated back home to Connecticut, I found the Urban League here and they were able to help me again. And then with this celebration of black history and culture, there wanted to be a pivot and, um, and to reimagine what a celebrating black history and culture could be. So I was excited to join that charge. And at about at 2015 with our youth department and starting the Legacy Revealed series and different themes after that, it was a Legacy Revealed imprints on a nation, full steam ahead, one nation, one assignment. Mm -hmm. So we're glad to be at a glimpse of hope this just year. It's part of your grandmother's legacy to you then, I suppose. It is, and, and just acknowledging that we all come from a long line and um, 
legacies of so many others mm -hmm. and whether we acknowledge them every day or just pause for a moment to stop to say their name to remember their imprints on our lives and how it can impact others and we hope to do that with several unsung hero heroes in the city of Hartford in the state of Connecticut mm -hmm. and allow people to get a glimpse of those as well. Well Thursday is a great opportunity to start another family tradition or legacy for others who may be watching and want to join in. Thanks so much for being with us. We do appreciate it. Thank you, too. And we want people to see the entertainment as well. There'll be ethnic-inspired hors d'oeuvres. Of course, yes. As well, and there'll be singing and dance and poetry and so many aspects of black culture, African drum and dance as well. So just come and celebrate. Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. We're going to have more information on the website if you want to recap any of this. It sounds like a phenomenal, phenomenal event. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much for being with us and sharing.